And the time is 4.01 p.m. Yeah, we ran a little over, but hey, it's Amy. We love Amy, right? But this, by the way, is KAOS. 89.3 FM, Olympia, celebrating 50, count them, 50 years of being the sound in the South Sound. And it is time for an all Fender Roads edition of John's Place. Take it away, Joe Sample and company. Well, we are 50 years old this year, 1973, and I'd never heard of Evergreen at the time. Uh, I came to Evergreen in 1993 during the 20 Years In Your Ears campaign, and uh, I wasn't planning to do radio either. I, I, at age 40, I came to college to get a BA to justify my BS. I, I really got tired of hearing you've got talent, you've got abilities, but you have no credentials. I'm thinking, so right, Mr. Wonderful, I've got credentials. Now, what am I going to put up with? Well, luckily, during my feature writing days at the Niagara Gazette, I had talked to a fellow named Matt Graining about a new thing called The Simpsons. And he told me about this place called, called Everine. It had no classes, courses, rather, no grades, and, I quote here, a haven for creative weirdos. And I said, that's it. I'm going to the outpatient clinic out west. Now, that's the page one version, but below the fold for all you newspaper types. I painted myself in a corner on purpose. You go to college locally and you don't like it, you can cut and run. You schlep your backside cross-country with all your worldly possessions. Your grip is somewhat more tenacious. And I came to this wonderful school called Evergreen, where I found all these people who wanted to help me get to yes. I'm a very proud greener, class of 97, thank you very much. This here is John's place, and me being John, and this being my place, we're going to have us a time today between now and 8 p.m. when Mr. Fred Kellogg holds court with the wonderfulness that is Free Jazz with Fred. We can do a recording live, and then we uh, mix and master everything on here uh, later, um, and then we send it to whoever the radio host is. Um, so, for example, we had Jenna Refress come in uh, for Mark Lee's uh, more, uh, show. We did a live recording. So they performed in there. We recorded everything on the board and sent it into our live board and had it recorded going on. Oh, God. Uh, like here physically? Because we have more in our music department office, too. I There's got to be at least tens of thousands. We get at, Easily. We get at least um, 15 to 20 a day. Through, through mail, through submissions. John's Place wound up becoming Equinox. And then I wound up picking up a public affairs show for the ranting, which I still do. And 29 years later, here I am. And, you know, having the privilege to create the 50th anniversary logo. And I've had thir roughly 30 years of seeing this beautiful, wonderful passing parade of the community, both at large and student community as well, come through these doors to do the shows that are about them. No one tells you what to do here, you know, within the law and to some extent within the chaos music policy as well. But again, there's ways to get to yes if you're creative. If you're not a member yet, cheap plug, chaosradio.org. We need the dough. We haven't done a pledge drive since before the plague started. So... It's not just student activity fees for which we are eternally grateful. It is listener support. And uh, if you feel like waiting a little bit, Giving Tuesday is the 28th. Come on down. KOSradio.org.